Hello, hello, Lucianites. Welcome, welcome to another video. I um, hope you guys' day is going great. I hope your week is actually um pretty amazing in general. Um, today we're going to be reacting to the new preseason stuff for League 2023. Let's go. I'm pretty excited for this preseason. I saw um so what I do know, I'm going to take us off. I do I did saw stuff about the um jungle pets. They look adorable. They like little Pokemon. Um, don't know how um, how they're going to be um fully implemented, but I guess we're going to find out through this um video. I just know they look kind of cool. I kind of have like mixed opinions on them on online in general, but um. I'm going to um, look at the video see for myself. I'm probably going to look up at the notes, you know, on the online side too, because I'm sure they have them up. But um, yeah, we're going to get to this, and also possibly we're going to watch the um, TFT um, stuff too for the upcoming set, because that's going to be also exciting too, and it's going to come eventually. So um, yeah, let's get to the video. Let's start. <laughs> oh yeah, Camtech. That's also not thing to be worked at. Oh, look at them! Look at the hero! I like the Pokemon you have to help you. I like it. Yeah, so I think that's the new Chemtech buff. And that goes further, yeah, that goes more, more further for you. Try to be on the track. And These get more wilds vision, are dangerous, so there's no time for small talk. Let's dive into preseason 2023. Yes, let's do there's it. There's no containing this volatile reaction. Chemtech Drake is back with some major changes coming off of last year. Each Chem Drake kill grants tenacity, healing, and shields. Claiming Chem right. Soul grants bonus damage and damage reduction when low on health. Yeah. When Chem Drake takes over the map, chemicals will mutate the jungle plants to give them new abilities. I like and this. Effects. I think this is kind of cool. Honey fruit is enhanced. A lot of interesting plays with me, you slow. know, done with this. Stalker's Bloom gives move speed and reduces revealed wards to one HP. That's cool. And Blast Cone. I like the utility aspect of it. Oh. But the genetically modified plant life isn't all that's coming next season. A foray into Look the forest them. is more fun with friends. Nailed it. This is Jumpshun. This is Gen 10 Pokemon. <laughs> companions that evolve as the game ticks on and grant unique buffs in their final form. You can progress their evolution by giving them treats, which are acquired slowly over time and more quickly by killing monsters. That's so cool. But you'll find more than just animal allies along these trails. Recommended jungle pathing will now show on your minimap for your first clear. Perfect wow. for first time junglers looking to learn the ropes. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be really beginner friendly for all the new people. Based on player data every patch. With all these new friend good thing. focused updates, good thing. we now refer to us as League of Friendship. And no, this is not up for debate. We're oh yeah, because it's basically Ivan's passive. You can sync with your team to sync the enemy. I did hear about we that. They basically gave Ivan Ivan passive to passive new options them. like hey, hold, push, bait. And oh, I love these two. I love all these on you. Oh my god. Well, the vision wheel now has vision cleared and need vision. Better still, we've added off screen ping indicators to help with map awareness and control. That's cool. Little well, quality of life changes. That's what I'm talking about. Introducing an objective voting system that'll ease conflict when it comes to making big plays or not on the rift. Now, your top yeah, no solo and baron is a thing of the past. Yeah, things are a lot of the quality of life changes are posting like. Oh, yeah, the Start system. saving your pennies for new and reborn items coming to a shop near you. New mythic items fit for top laners and tanks are stocking the shelves. But all that really matters is Rod of Ages is back. Yeah, Rod That's of Ages. It. That's the update. Rod of Ages is back. Mid laners rejoice. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. I'll actually do my job. We'll give you the rest of it. Three new durable tank boosting items are joining the Mythic ranks. Oh, wow. I like Returning icon and updated arts. items include Rod of Ages and Spear of Shojin. And as usual, several other items have been updated, so you should definitely check out the patch notes to get the full details. I know the Urban King is going to have to infomercial. Hit the rift running in Season 2023 and get to know the preseason changes coming in Patch 12.22. Hope they buff tier the guys. <laughs> Oh, I like that because like he was like the little student in um Heimdinger was like the Pokemon professor and he had to choose a starter. That's cute. I like <laughs> that's cute. I do like that. I really do like that. No, like yeah, that was um, a really great um interesting um first look into the um pieces. I know like um a lot of these details were like um already like you know before because I know I think I think they released some of it on like um. The PBE server and some people have been trying it and I'm like Asante and all the new stuff that's been like happening over there. Um, I tried Asante but I didn't really um, look at all the um other items. I think I mentioned um, about the ages in my um Asante video because I saw it. 
um but yeah other than that um yeah that was a really cool video and um actually now we're gonna actually transition over to the new tft stuff because on um, tft a new stuff is coming up soon too so let's do that all right let's go i'm actually um, a bit late on this one i think that the other video came out already today but i think this one's been like two weeks so um yeah but let's go into it hey everyone let's go into i'm it. mort the gameplay director on tft and I'm here to discuss our next set, providing a few spoilers on traits and units to come, as well as an update on TFT's mechanics. After Hello. that, I'll pass it to Mariah to share some of the new personalization content and discuss the future of events before we take a look at our roadmap for TFT in 2023. All right, so allow me to introduce our next set, Teamfight Tactics, Monsters Attack. Oh yeah, Monsters Attack, right? Absurdity ensues as an unlikely group of heroes band together against titanic awakened threats. Welcome to Spatulopolis, a city brimming with heroes, threats, mm, like and the, the resulting name. wreckage, mine the debris. Oh, crap, Coming right. patch 1223, our next set brings a new set of traits more heroic than anything the Convergence has seen. It'll also herald the return of familiar favorites like Mech and Star Guardian, but with nice. big twists from their galaxy's counterparts. But before we get into traits, let's briefly discuss our new set's mechanics, and more specifically, augments. Yay, let's go. Augments is like the best thing they've ever First did. Off, the fact the that they're keeping them was a nice augments thing. Augments are now an evergreen mechanic to TFT. Yes, For those who Thank aren't you. botanists, this means that augments will stick around set after set in addition to new mechanics it changes that come the game and go so much. Set. When we introduced augments in Gizmos and Gadgets, we had no expectations that they would stay around for Dragonlands and beyond, but after extensive polling and internal testing of Dragonlands with and without augments, it became clear that augments were not just something we wanted to continue tinkering with, they were something that the overwhelming majority of our players wanted to keep. Yes, yes, Augments yes. provide moments of high stakes decision making Dragonlands has been the fantastic in my opinion. It's been really fantastic. with more strategically creative comps and leads to a fresh experience game after game. They also unlock endless Especially possibilities the from the game design too. And we've we just can, like, scratched the, the dragons surface on now. what we can like, do with them. So cool. Of course, augments will change set to set, and a bit in mid-sets, to better complement new traits, units, and thematics. Nice. But in addition to swapping a portion of our augment roster for our next set, we're also using them in a new way as our set mechanic, one that feels uniquely heroic or villainous in accordance with our theme. In our next set, we're introducing hero augments, an entirely new roster of augments. Instead of having blanket effects, Hero augments buff a specific unit. These oh. augments allow you to make your chosen hero a superhero or supervillain so, if that's more your style. I guess in making your case, we're still for your superfying these set, augments at the know, time I'm recording this, but here are a really few powerful. early samples cool. that are still a work in progress. One of Alistar's hero augments turns his single target knockup Pulverize into an AoE and gives him a bunch of health. His other hero augment, Beef Up, gives his Pulverize ability max health scaling. Oof, jeez. There will also be hero augments for our villainous so threats. Down to They're detail, also yeah, yes. called hero augments, because even bad guys deserve a chance at playing the hero. For instance, Super Size grants Zack a ton of health, oh literally 2,000, and immunity to crowd control, while also giving you a Zack. Since both Zack's ability and his passive have max health scaling, cool. this augment makes this threat exactly that. As you can tell, hero augments are quite powerful. They'll take your chosen unit to the moon, so we've added a couple controls to keep these heroes in orbit. Hero augment selections can replace any of the original three Series, augment rounds, I guess it's but they're only so. offered once per game. Barisona and they're invasion. offered to all players at the same time, oh, providing like different like for you to choose like from. The um, past couple sets. At TFT, we truly believe that anyone can be the hero, which is why every unit will have two hero augments specific to them. Cool. All of these different options for souping up your heroes and threats allow for plenty of different super teams to save the day or smash it to smithereens. Can we follow the new combinations with hero the augments it creating so many really possibilities? Like we're excited to see what players come up with. Now, let's talk game. Hopefully, play. I can get out gold. <laughs> Only made up to gold on um, this set. Before we get into specifics about units, more. there are two things that you should know. First, there won't be any units that take up two slots in your army. Okay. Our next set is about building your team of heroes, and last I checked, you can spell team without Dragon or Colossus. Yeah. Second, Ramus will, of course, continue to be excluded from TFT. What? Uh, hey, Bort. TFT is simply a better game without a spiky armadillo. That's crazy. What? 
What, was that the wrong line? Or Ramus is in the set. Who? Who allowed? I never said Ramus could be in freaking. Okay, so apparently Ramus is making his team oh, debut as a I'm threat confused. to my sanity, but also as one of the powerful units in the all-new. He must hate him in the normal game. Turns out our next set isn't all Star Guardians. Kind of crazy, because like he's one. Uh, the threat trait is our first problems. trait that's not really a I think trait. Is just okay in the threats game. do not benefit from fielding other threats, and they have no other traits. Who to compensate, cool. these units are more that. powerful than other units. You can still field any number of them, which makes them like a good rain boot, splashable and flexible. Next up, we've got the Spatulopolis fan favorite, Anima Squad. The first time an Anima Squad unit gets a takedown during combat, they pause to strike a pose for their fans, gaining a stack of fame. Each point of fame pause. gives Anima Squaddies ability power and attack damage. I wonder if that's that going to screw them over in a way and put them moments in the if fight. If stacking big numbers like you could with Vagar and Fates is your game, like, you know, you just lose back because no of him, like, Anima you know, striking and pose. And better yet, Nasus, whose ability Bonk can be upgraded with a hero augment to give it its stacking mechanic all of its own. Interesting. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes and all heroic alignments. Take Underground, so, like, he for just example. In the game. Sure, cool. they may not be the most heroic heroes, always scheming to pull off a big heist, but they get the job done. It just may not be the job you want it done. The Underground are a group of Rapscallions that are perpetually attempting a heist. With each player combat, you will move psyops. towards completing your heist, <laughs> getting one okay. progress for a win. I like the creativity with these sets so with the skin. Each time more you hit more creative. seven progress, you and your crew are offered some heist rewards. But it's up to you to take what's offered or to hold out for more powerful rewards. Just make sure you can complete your heist before you get carried away to an unfortunate fate. I can't wait to see how far you can take your heist with the underground. Cool. There are plenty more super squads to uncover, such as the steadfast Ox Force that will fight to the bitter end and then some. This crew is led by gun maestro and sad boy Aphelios, Aphelios whose back. custom trait cool. arsenal allows you to swap between weapons to change his ability. Interesting. Aphelios' ability okay. is the only thing you can customize in our next set. I We've like also that. got a customizable a guns. Admin allows you to configure the cause and, and effect lot. of your admin it's program, working. aka the trait. With admin, you'll be able to pick a cause and then you'll be able to pair that cause with an effect. Cool, I like how instance, whooping the traits can actually like, pick stuff. Start of combat, like more options and more possibilities. I love to this play already. Admin as an econ trait that gives you a gold each round. I love there the are seven oh total God. causes and course. seven total effects They're to like choose just... from. Each effect is balanced around how easy or difficult the cause like is just in the conference room. Admin is an exciting trait for cool me, battle. not just because it has so many different power levels, but also because it gives players an opportunity to put on their game designer hats when building their comp. Just be careful, if you play admin too long, you may just find yourself getting mort dogged by yourself. Self dogged? But this is a set about mean? heroes, and what more heroic traits to talk about than the returning Star Guardian? Like their galaxy's counterparts, Star Guardians interact with mana, but instead of distributing mana to each other, Star Guardians generate more and more mana as you go up in trait breakpoints. This can lead to some Money wildly cool. explosive fights as the spell starts oh my gosh, just faster over and, and over. Faster. Jesus. Just look at the chaos. All right, it's time I pass it to my That's teammate Ryle over in the Singapore office to discuss personalization content, events, and more. But don't worry, we'll have time to talk more at the end of this dev drop. Hello, everyone. I'm Mariah, Hello. one of the producers for cosmetics on TFT. I've been with Riot for over seven years, with more than two of those on TFT. Also, I have an adorable, but very mean cat called Chocolate. Uh -huh. It's been amazing to be part of TFT's growth over the past seven, soon to be eight sets. And I'm here to oh, share yeah. where we are going with Boy, personalization content in our next set and beyond. If you come a long way, First up is one of is our changing, most changing, ambitious arena better. yet. Our mythic arena, Everything Goes wow. On is a love letter to the Star Guardian universe and its fans. With Easter eggs dating back to lore from the original Star Guardian lineup, as well as an all new intro ceremony that will allow your tactician to live out their very own magical schoolgirl fantasy. Even Baron can be a Star Guardian in TFT. Wow. <laughs> and one of the coolest part of this new arena 
Well, it's actually better if you hear it yourself. Okay. Having a star guardian arena wouldn't be complete without new oh, star guardian Lux. achievements. You know they had to be added so, soon. They had to be. We are bringing fan favorites Lux and Ari to life as base TVs sense. and as star guardians. By now, we wow. know that every chibi variant comes with well an too. exclusive finisher. Yeah, they admit that was really well done. These chibi finishers will have all of the sparkle and magic you would expect from star guardians. It's not always about the combat. Sometimes it's more about the glamorous style. That can only be obtained with a magic. These are really cute and adorable. I love Lux them will be released first, followed by Ari a couple patches later. With this set, and in the future, you can expect to see a broader range of styles for our cosmetics option, so that you can express yourself to the fullest. Wow. At TFT, we're really good at making cute stuff. I mean, really good. Yeah, we <laughs> got really good. We're introducing little legends that would be offended. If you call them cute. Oh. Even though they're pretty cute. You've already met Baron, but they're just yeah, one Baron little Betty joining I the like crew. There's really Gristle, cute. whose passion is long walks in fragile cities. Cool. And then there's Whisker. Oh, they look are at that. They're evil, and they're always up to something. That kind of reminds me of Why does it remind me of kind of like a Meowth and Mimikyu right. piece together? That's it for cosmetic spoilers. Let's talk about events. Events, events. Let's go. We've had a few events up to now. Skyglass, Gift of the Golden Lantern, and most recently, Secrets of the Shallows. Each event brings additional fun and thematic flair to TFT, but we think we can do even more. In addition to bringing new arenas, tacticians and narrative adventures like you've seen in Secrets of the Shallows, our next event, targeted for early 2023, will feature a new oh. limited time game mode. It's an exciting step towards innovating on what events can offer. Another Look cool game Look forward to more mode. details wow. on our next event and game mode as we get closer to release. Now, I'm going to welcome back Mort to share some spoilers for the future of TFT. Okay, That's let's go. right. We are entering the spoiler zone. Thanks, Mariah. Now let's take a look at where TFT is heading. Starting with patch 1223 in early December, the next set will have you building your super team and utilizing hero augments oh, it's to coming lead in your December. squad wow. to victory. That's kind of soon. Then we'll usher in the new year with an oh, event wow. that'll come with its own it's themed it's game mode yeah, for the event's duration. Just after that, in March, we'll see what the future of Spatulopolis holds and in our even next newer set. set. And in the summer of next year, there'll be a brand new set to enjoy next, next as set. TFT turns four. Wow. Four. Holy hell. That's how old I was when I grew my first beard. As you can see, we've got lots to do over here at TFT. So I better get back to it. Until next time, take it easy. Take it easy. Wow. Good job. Amazing job. Amazing job. Wow. I'm very excited for um, pre-season and TFT. Those both aspects look great to me. Like both look really, really nice to me. Um, we definitely gonna see how they you know pair out. You know, with them like bringing it out and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty sure, like like I said, um, I think some just will like already released to a PP. So I know some people have been like maybe been trying them, but um already. But yeah, I haven't yet myself. So I had to wait till they come out. And I actually do want to wait till they come out actually. You know, I feel like it's more special that way. But um, yeah, like both of them look so cool. Like the new like augments, like the hero augments. Like I think that's such a dope idea. And then with, even within the traits, you get more choices too. Like you can choose. Like um, I know what was that? It was like the underground rogue trait or what it was called? I forgot what it's called. But like you can like choose to like you know get like some items or you can like wait till like later to get even better items like stuff like that is like cool to me like you know more options more stuff you can do more variables like you know it's, it's actually kind of getting kind of crazy with how much free stuff you can do um compared to like the rated first tft it's kind of crazy and then like the stuff with like the main game with like, the jungle pets for the jungle and all the new arms coming like it's so cool it's very cool and that's just pre-season like we can get you more stuff in like in the main season too so yeah, like, oh my god, like, this, next year's gonna be cool. Next year's look is looking very promising. But, um, yeah, tell me what you guys liked about, um, the video and what you guys are looking forward to with the new TFT set and the new preseason and, and, like, beyond. Let me know, like, your thoughts, what you guys like about it and what you guys, like, maybe, like, maybe not like about it. I'm kind of curious. 
Um, and yeah, like, see you guys later. Bye, Illusionites. Have a nice day.